Hello! Today I want to share with you hidden features in Procreate Dream that I wish, I wish, I wish I knew from the beginning. It would save me so much time and so much nerves. <laughs> so we have today this animation that I made. First thing that I wish, I wish I knew was masking. So if you're used to Procreate, you think that all the features that in Procreate are the same location that are in Procreate Dream. And this is not the case. If you go to the layers and you create another layer, there is no option to clip mask. And you know how important it is for drawing and for animation, it's critical. And I was a bit confused how come it's not there, but actually it is there, just in a different location. So let me explain it by using this animation that I create. So we have a palm, and when, as soon as it gets into the water, it deforms, it gets bigger, it gets lighter. So to make this, we need masks. And let me explain you how I did it. So I will delete what I did just so you can see and hear how it looks without any masks. As you see, the palm gets into the water and it stays the same. So it's not a very nice animation. Let me show you. We can do much better. First thing, we need to duplicate. Duplication is also a bit of tricky because it can be done two ways. First way, if I just click on it and click duplicate, it will duplicate on the same track and you see where it goes? We don't want that. We want to duplicate on a new track. So for that, I'm clicking track options and then duplication. Look at that. Now we have the duplicate palm. I will place one of the palms behind the aquarium and the other one is at top. So one is, you see, behind and the other one is on top. Now I'm going to use mask to add this palm inside the aquarium. How do I do that? This track holds the aquarium, all what you see, this circle. I'm going to duplicate it. This time I'm going to duplicate the first way I said we don't need, but I will show what to do if you already duplicate it on the same track. It's not a big problem. You just click here and you drag where you need. I want to put it here. Now we don't see the palm. What to do? Very easy. We click on it and click mask. And here we have a couple of options. For this animation, we need the layer mask. I'm going to click the layer mask. And now this palm is inside the mask. Now we can click on the palm and make some changes. I will add filter to it. I will click the color options. I will make it a bit lighter, like so. And I will make it larger. To make it larger, you need to access from the drawing mode, click on your layer, and just make it a bit larger, nothing too big. Now, when we play, look at that. Wow, I will enlarge it for you so you can see. Second tip, also highly valuable, is how to move grouped frames. You see here, I have frame. If I will highlight it and I will start moving, I can't. It only moves one frame. You can't do that. But there is a hack. It's more of the hack than a tip, but I hope in the future versions they will do something better than what I'm going to show you now. But anyway, this is a usable hack and you should use it because it will also save you a lot of time. So I highlighted all the frames and I'm going to group them. And now I can move them around. I'm going to click and I'm going to move where I want it. But what if you don't want it to be in a group? Okay. You moved it where you want. You click on it and you click ungroup. And here you go, you have all your frames again, separate, not in group, and you can work on your project. Third tip, probably everyone knows it, but just in case, because it's so crucial when you're drawing the onion. So when you start drawing, I'm gonna create a new track and I'm gonna start drawing. So I will draw one line, then I will drop it here and it opens the flip book. I'm going to create the plus button and I'm going to add another and another. And you see the previous frames, but 
when you first create the project, this option is hidden and you don't see what, where to draw, where you finish your last drawing. So this is very crucial. When you start drawing, always click on this time and click show onion. This is so important. Another thing that is found in Procreate, and you could think that is found in the same place in Procreate Dreams, but it doesn't, is Blur. So when you select your frame, you can click on this icon and we have Move, Filter and Edit. You could click Filter and the Blur is here. Now let's go to Rotating. Rotating is also found in a different place than Procreate. So in Procreate Dreams, we don't have any options here. First, you need to select an object. For that, you don't need to be in any of those three modes. And you just need to click on the keyframe. I'm clicking and I have those lines. So as you see, we have an option to flip, edit anchor. We have those dots, but there is no rotating. How do I rotate? To rotate is very easy. You click one of those four dots. And when you click, you will have this icon here. And if you hold it, you could rotate. Nice. But you see how the fish is rotating in the middle. We don't want that. I want it to rotate from the tail. So for this, we're using anchor. I'm going to edit the anchor. I'm going to click hold, place it here, click done. And now when I rotate, click and rotate, it rotates from the tail. It looks amazing. Nice. Next hidden feature is the title. So when you create a project, the Procreate Dream, there is no option to change the title when you create. And when you're in the, inside the project, you have your title name here. But if you click on it, again, no way to change the title. We have so much properties here, but nothing about the title. How do we change the title? You need to click this icon. To go back to the theater mode. This is the theater mode. Now we have this project. I'm going to click and hold and we have the rename feature there. So I'm going to call it fish and cat. Nice. Now when I open it, you see the title is here. Now when I click the title, let's talk about the options that we have here. We can change the frame per seconds, the duration, the good stuff. The most important stuff that I always use in my animation is the playback option. I'm mostly using ping pong mode. It's when you're doing animation and it goes this way, as soon as you get to the other way, it goes backwards again to the front, back and front. It's very good animation for looping. But you can use loop, you can use one shot. I will put loop. And from here, you can share, you can uh, create the video. Here are a lot of options you can play with, but the option that you should take a look at is the store undo steps. So if you click on it, you can do unlimited. And this is very nice if you're planning to undo a lot. And the way that Procreate Dream work is that even if you close Procreate and open it again and open your file, you could still undo. It's all stored here. The last hidden features, now it's really hidden, is not even found in Procreate, but you need to go to Settings, find Procreate Dream, and here you can find Feedback Sound. For me, it is off because this feature sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work. It's not critical for me, but maybe it could be fun for you to play with. It adds an interesting sound when you move layers, move your frames, click on tools. It gives a nice, interesting feedback sound. Maybe it will be interesting for you. And the last thing I wanted to say that in the next video, we're going to create this animation. So if you're interested in a step-by-step -step tutorial where I'll explain everything you need to know to create this, subscribe and keep watching. Thank you everyone for subscribing. A couple of days ago, I had only 50 subscribers and today I have already over 300. This is so amazing. So thank you. I'm so glad I can share my tutorials with you and they're really helping. I read the comment, all the comments and people write that they really, really help. Wow. Thank you very much. And see you on the next video.